Agatha, my child, come. There is someone I'm anxious for you to meet. From the shadows, a small, leering man in a kilt stepped forward. He held out a hand which resembled a limp shred of cloth. This is my daughter, Agatha. Agatha, I am pleased to introduce you to the Right Honourable Dougal Simkin, heir to the Laird of Crotchy. Simkin took Agatha's fingers in his cold and slimy hands. What a delight you are, dear Agatha. Sir Colin has told me all about you. Agatha's father grunted contentedly. Well, I shall leave you to your own devices. To make a lasting acquaintance, he added, with a hard stare at his daughter as he strode back to the ball. Agatha turned to Simkin, whose lips turned up in a cruel form of a smile. So, Mr. Simkin, are you enjoying the ball? Not half as much as I am enjoying these precious few moments with you in my sight, Agatha. What delicate skin you possess. And please, call me Dougal. Simkin took another step towards her, and again Agatha found herself wedged in a corner with no means of tasteful escape. His breath brought chills to her throat, and his little eyes shone like a boy anticipating chocolate. Dear Agatha, would you do me the honour of this dance? He wheedled. But before she could respond, a flash of red in the corner of her eyes distracted Agatha from Simkin's uncomfortably close face. Out on the dance floor, moving among the sum of young revellers, was her unexpected visitor, the captain, in the glory of full-dress uniform. But who was that young woman with whom he was dancing? Yes, there she was again, leaning backwards in his arms, her left hand dangling as he spun her, her head tilted back, gaily laughing, displaying two fine rows of perfect teeth. Who was the object of his attention? The feminine prize in the captain's strong arms was none other than Clarabel Huntley. <laughs>